Hello friends, welcome back to another video where we are going to talk about configuration of firewall on router using ACL. So first of all, what is a firewall? A firewall is a network security device that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic and it decides whether to allow or to block the specific traffic based on a defined set of security rules. Here we have an example of a firewall which is located between the private network okay, and the public network where we have internet. Okay, so based on the conditions, we can filter the traffic whether on the inbound port or towards the outbound port. Okay, so the second line here talks about a network firewall can either be a hardware or a software device and it's usually located at the edge of a network and it provides security that we already know and this is applied on the firewall. Okay, so let's get started with the lab where we are going to configure a simple ACL on the router and we are going to convert the router to firewall. We already have a pre-configured network over here where we have configured IP address on each of this port on this router and all this uh, four pieces that you see here have got the IP address automatically assigned from the DHCP. And the DHCP is already configured on this router. And to verify the same, we can give the command show running. Okay. And that's what you can see here. I have excluded this 10 IP addresses over here because 10.1 is reserved on this port here. And um, the reservation is still 10.10 .10, just in case if anybody would like to assign a IP address as a static on the host, okay? So that's reserved and the DHCP pool is my lab and the network is 10.10.10.0 with the subnet mask and the default router is obviously the 10.1 because we have two different subnet here which is 10.10.10.0 and 20.10.10.0 subnet. And those both subnet are connected using the router because in order to have a communication between two different subnets, we need a router. All right. Okay, so um, we also need to give a DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8, and we have to check if you are able to uh, ping from this PC to the server here, the destination server. Since this is a 20.10.10.0 subnet, 10.1 is assigned here and 10.2 is assigned on the destination web server. So, um, so here, uh, when we are trying to request for the IP address for the first time, so DHCP assigns using this uh, first come first serve basis. So 10.11 is assigned here, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, now since we are clear on the IP address configuration, let's go ahead and uh, get ready to um, configure the ACL on the router. But before that, let's plan what we are expecting from this lab, okay? So for example, here on the first PC, we would say that we would like to permit TCP. We already know that TCP is something which is on the layer four, okay? So we would be allowing all those applications that belongs to layer four and block the other applications which is not a part of layer four. So you should be able to ping the web server, okay? But the ICMP packets will be dropped, okay? And coming on to the second 
TC, it says deny TCP. That means you will not be able to ping the web server. And in fact, if you're not able to ping, that means you are not able to send any ICMP request. So that gets blocked. So you get a error message saying that destination is unreachable. So for the third PC over here, permit ICMP, you are able to get request, send your request and receive acknowledgement. So you are able to ping the web server and you are also able to reach the web server. You can access the web page. And the last command here, it says deny ICMP, which means you will not be able to ping. You get the destination unreachable command. But you can access the web page. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and verify it and configure a simple ACL on the router. On the router, configuration mode, IP access extended. Here, I would like to give a name. Let's say ACL lab. Then we can say permit. Okay, let's start with the PC zero. So we say permit TCP. So T permit TCP. And need, you need to specify the source host. So what's the source source host IP address? It's ten dot ten dot ten dot eleven. And what's the destination IP address? It's 10 dot, sorry, 20 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2. And don't forget to give the port number 80. I'm talking about this web server, which is the destination IP address. Let's move to PC1. On PC one, okay. You are going to deny TCP. So deny TCP host IP address is what? Ten dot twelve. Ten dot ten dot ten dot twelve. And what's the uh, web server IP address 20 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2. Again, don't forget to specify the port number. Let's move on to PC2. Here we are going to permit ICMP. And what's the IP address on this host? It's 10.13. 10 10 10 10 and for the host IP address on the destination side, it is 20.10.10.2. 10 no need to specify the port number here because this is ICMP is what you're going to permit or deny, okay? And for the last PC here, which is PC3, deny CMP host. What's the IP address? It's 10.10.10.14. And your Destination IP address is 20.10.10.2. We have, uh, oh, we've got an error here. 
Oh, we have taken now 1014. All right, let's just correct that. Fourteen, ten dot ten dot ten dot fourteen. Destination server IP address is twenty dot ten dot ten dot two. Oh, one more command you can specify here: permit TCP any to any. That means from any host to any destination server okay except to verify it you can specify show access list i would like to copy that on a notepad just to make sure we have it And I'm will just paste that here. Okay. So we have one, two, three, and four conditions. So first and second, we have uh, permitted and denied the TCP, and we have specified the port number for AT, which is showing a uh, as a www. And we have the other two ICMP conditions with permit and deny. And the last one is just a general, which we just added for permitting any host to reach any server. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check if we are able to meet those four conditions that we um, planned earlier. So let's see if you are able to access the web page on from this PC0. So go to PC0 and specify 20.10.10.2. Yes, there it is. So you are able to access the web page. And when you ping, the packets must be dropped. So let's go ahead and try to ping and see what happens. So ping 20.10.10.2. When you're pinging, we can see the packets are reachable. That means there's something which is missing. And what's that? We have forgotten to add the IP access group. So make sure uh, when you're configuring ACL, do not forget to add the IP access group. So since we are applying this filter on the inbound interface, so let's cons uh, configure the inbound port on the router. So fast ethernet zero slash zero. IP access group and the name here must match the same name that you specified when you uh, give this conditions on the IP access list okay so it's ACL lab so you need to give the same ACL lab okay and don't forget to give the inbound port command and exit. Now let's go ahead and see if we can meet these conditions. So on the PC, let's run the IP address 10.10.10.2. You're able to access the web page. Let's see if you're able to ping. So from the PC, go to command prompt and ping destination web server 20.10.10.2. Yes, you can see reply from this host, destination unreachable. 
that means the ICMP packets are dropped. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the second PC, that is PC1, and see if you are able to access the web page or not, because we already denied uh, TCP. That means you will not be able to access the web page and you should not be even able to ping. So 20.10.10.2, you are not able to access the web page. How about pinging? Let's go to PC and ping 20.10.10.2. Yeah, you're getting destination host is unreachable. So you're not able to ping and you're not able to reach the web page. So the condition is met. Let's move to the third PC permit ICMP. So let's see if you can access the web page 20.10.10.2. All right. And yes, you are able to access the web page. How about uh, sending ping request? So you can just verify. Since we have given permit ICMP, we should be able to since we have given permit ICMP, we should be able to ping it, okay? So ping 20.10.10.2. There it is, you're, you're, you, you are able to see a reply packet, okay? And you can see 0% is the loss. That means you're able to ping the destination server, okay? So our condition has been met for the PC2. Let's go with the PC3. We have specified deny ICMP. That means we have said you should not be able to ping the web server, okay? But however, let's see what's happening when we see the uh, request via web browser. So 20.10.10.2, you are able to reach the web page, okay? But the only thing that's getting blocked is the ICMP. So if you're trying to ping from the command prompt, so ping 20.10.10.2, uh, destination host is unreachable, okay? So you're not able to reach you're not able to ping, but however, you're able to access the web page. Okay, so this completes the lab on ACL where we have successfully configured the router into a firewall. I hope that this video has been helpful to you all. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.